He put a scar on him. He killed without mercy. He wanted revenge. But the people who feared him would come to celebrate him. The story of the last days of the Indian Wars and the man who became a legend, Geronimo. Geronimo was born on June 16, 1829. Geronimo was not his real name. His real name was Goyata, given to him by his Chiricahua tribe when he was a boy, which means one who yawns. Mexican foes dubbed him the name Geronimo. Although he hated Mexican soldiers for killing his family during an attack, this name stuck with him for the rest of his life. His people regarded him as not only a strong war leader, but also an accomplished medicine man or shaman for his magical healing powers. His first encounter with the supernatural was within months of the March 1851 massacre of his family. His people of the Chiricahua tribe were sent to live on the reservation as the white people live. Him and his close followers, consisting of mainly family members and close friends, escaped the reservation. As they traveled, their band of 36 became much bigger. Over the next year, they evaded thousands of Mexican and American troops. The white eye came and wanted to land in my people. When their soldiers burnt our villages, we moved to the mountains. When they took our food, we ate thorns. When I took a wife, they killed her and my two little girls. But in our hearts, we never surrendered. In 1886, General Nelson Miles set out for Geronimo and his people to bring them back to the reservation where they had escaped. This was known as the Geronimo Campaign. Their duty was to bring him back dead or alive. He claimed to have practiced the gun ceremony, which is a series of prayers and songs that was sought to grant protection. The guns of his enemies often jammed or misfired when trying to shoot him. He has over 50 bullet wounds on his body, but he claimed bullets cannot kill me. One day when praying to the god Yusin for the healing of a woman, Yusin promised that Geronimo himself would live to an old age and die a natural death. This gave him confidence when in the battle that he could not be killed. Geronimo claimed the Apaches knew what herbs to use for medicine, how to prepare them, and how to give medicine. This they had been taught by Yusin in the beginning, and each succeeding generation had men who were skilled in the art of healing. Geronimo was one of the last American Indians to formally surrender and accept American authority. One of the most pivotal moments in Geronimo's life was in 1858 when he returned home from a trading excursion into Mexico. He found his wife, his mother, and his three children murdered by Spanish troops from Mexico. This reportedly caused him to have such a hatred of the whites that he vowed to kill as many as he could. From that day on, he took every opportunity he could to terrorize Mexican settlements, and soon after this incident, he received his power, which came to him in visions. September 4, 1886, he was eventually captured and taken as a prisoner of war. It was then that he finally surrendered to the Americans at Skeleton Canyon in Arizona. He died of pneumonia on February 17, 1909 at the age of 89. He was a prisoner of war.